What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. It's time that we get some trellises for these tomatoes over here because uh, they're starting to get a little tall and they're gonna need some support. If you remember a while back I said that we were gonna trellis these with the Florida weave or whatever the heck it's called. The basket weave. It's got all kinds of names. All I know is it's not gonna work for these tomatoes because they grow too tall. Like I could do it but it's not really the best method for tall, indeterminate tomatoes, which apparently is what these are. Thanks, Courtney. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna put up two tall posts on either side and then we'll just run cattle panel as far up as we can go. I'm thinking if I have two slices of cattle panel, they're four feet high, I should be able to get roughly an eight foot trellis out of that. Massive, in my opinion and boy do I wish we planned better. I feel like I had a pretty good plan up here and then uh, Courtney happened. Courtney. But in all honesty, let's think about it. You know, when all of a sudden you're able to get your stuff in the ground, you're just really excited about it. And we've had such incredible failures over the years with our gardens that this just seemed to be one of those years where Let's just get it done, let's do it. So, eh, it is what it is. Not to worry, we're gonna get in here, we're gonna trellis these suckers, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be all right. This is my country, my damn country, give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country, my damn country, and it don't mean a thing if it don't pass the test. If you ain't never cheated or been cheated on, then take off your boots, you rhinestone fraud. I forgot one important thing, a level. Not that this is structural or anything, it needs to be level, but I just want it to be nice and straight and level, so I'm gonna go get that real quick. All right, I'm good. So, if you don't have one of these, this is a post level. Whoop, got it. They're pretty handy because they've got a level here and here to measure your horizontals, and a level here to measure your vertical. Make sure you're not going like this and like this, all that good stuff. They usually have a rubber band on them, my rubber band, Rot it out, broke, I don't know. So I just use a clamp. Do you remember when I said you should get yourself some clamps? Go get yourself some clamps, folks. These are super handy. Super handy. First thing I'm gonna do is drill some holes in the posts. That's gonna allow me to get the lag bolts through the posts a whole lot easier. No, I'm not gonna do that. This just became a whole lot more difficult than I thought. Ah. Dang it. Okay, I've got to think this through. I was trying not to have to cut out a rebate for the garden bed in the post, but now that I'm thinking about it, I might have to. Otherwise, I need to dig out an area to be able to get these lag bolts in through the garden bed and into the posts. That's not really what I was trying to do. I'm gonna think about this. I think I can do it without disturbing the tomatoes. So I'm thinking if I just dig a hole, uh, inside the garden box and then slide the post in that hole then I can drill through the garden box into the post and all should be good. I didn't really want it in the garden box though. So I'm gonna see if I can come up with uh, a different way before I stick them in the garden box. Okay, I think I got it. We're gonna put the posts on the outside for sure so that way nothing leaches into the garden box itself. However, I'm gonna have to use a wrench instead of an impact driver. That's gonna be much more work, but I won't have to worry about whatever is in the wood. So I'm gonna drill some holes in the sides of the garden box, slide some lag bolts through. These are actually three and a half inch uh, galvanized lag bolts. We'll put a washer on there as well. Tighten them down with a wrench and we're solid. What I need you to do, Courtney, is hold the post up Keep it level by looking at this, okay? And make sure it's in line with those holes that I just drilled. Just make sure you're level here and level here. Okay. You got it? I got it. All right, you hold that. Are we good? Yep. Yeah? Good. All right. Let go a second. Let's see if it moves. All right, good. So it looks like we'll be okay to hold it there, but now I got to get the bottom ones in. Won't be able to get the drill in there, so we'll use the wrench. That job's going to Courtney. What? Well, yeah, you said you were gonna help me. I, 
I held the post. That's what you're here for is the whole, where are you going? I'm in a you, weed and- Weed? We gotta, come on, he's gotta get done. You gotta help me. I gotta take care of the plants. <sighs> Can you at least get me a cerveza? Yes. <sighs> That's helping. This is gonna take a while. Here you go. Helping. Helping. All right, post number one, success. Oh, honey. Also hold the post. I, I was holding the other stuff. I don't have three hands. Trellis number two, all done. Now I somehow have to either secretly cut these tomatoes or get Courtney to come over here and dig them out. Courtney, I'm gonna cut these tomatoes down. You better not. Hey, I told you the plan. But your plan's taking a while. My plan is to do it fast. Your plan's to take forever. Yeah, I want to get this done. I got another one to do right after this. Come on, woman, let's go. I'll give you the count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, come on. That was going to be fun. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm -mm. That could have been way worse. Yeah. Where are you going to put it? In the woods? Yeah. Or grow your own? Grow your own. Since Courtney grew so many tomatoes, we've actually decided that we're gonna plant some uh, in like right around the garden and not do anything to them. Maybe hold them up with a stick. But you know, what happens in nature without us doing anything? There's an experiment. Remember, it's the garden of experiments, folks. All good? All good. So I can keep working? You may proceed. All right, thank you. All right, now that we've got three less tomatoes in our way, we can start to put up this trellis. We're gonna use cattle panel going across uh, somehow. Need to figure it out. I think I'm gonna try and bring her on up to the, the top and uh, just figure it out from there. I may utilize the strings that we have inside the greenhouse to help them along a bit, which will be fine. All right, I need to measure the distance between the two posts and uh, just because I got a new tool for Father's Day, this is a uh, laser tape measure for longer distances. Not that I need it for whatever this is, but I gotta try it, right? I mean, come on folks, I just got it. Did you buy that for yourself? I don't know what you're talking about, Courtney. I don't know anybody in our house that ever buys things for themselves for Father's Day, Mother's Day, never happens. We've got seven feet, eight inches. So it looks like we're gonna cut one of those panels in half, raise it up off the ground a bit, and we'll be all right. So I got a funny story for you before I start cutting up these panels and getting them to where I need them to be. Our trailer, which is a 10 foot trailer, was filled with some lumber that I had just gotten and I didn't have a place to store it yet. Uh, I, actually, it's still probably in there because I haven't stored it yet. However, 
I couldn't take it with me to go get the cattle panels and I needed to get a bunch of cattle panels and I'm like how in the world am I gonna get these cattle panels into my truck bed we're talking like an eight foot truck bed and 16 foot long cattle panels what am I gonna do and then later that day what pops up in my feed on uh, on my phone for YouTube it's Josh from the city stead been wanting to do this and today it's happening totally cool dude uh, follows our channel comments all the time I love the guy and uh, we watch his videos from time to time and here he had a video on putting cattle panels in his SUV like a small SUV he had eight foot cattle panels that he stuck in there uh, and I was like Wow, I needed this. This is exactly what I needed. So that day we went to Tractor Supply, took about five of these panels, folded them up, took a ratchet strap, tied them down, put them in the truck. Everything was good. So Josh, thanks a lot, dude. Great tip. So check them out, folks. The City Stead, they're good people. Their channel's growing fast. They deserve some love. Let them know I sent you. Let's cut some panels. This turkey is ridiculous. Like every day he gets confused as to where he's supposed to go in to the run. Same door every day, but yet thinks he should go in the window. That's not the right door, turkey. It's not the right one. I cannot believe this turkey. Seriously, I just don't know what else to say. And there go the ducks, who also can't figure out where to go at the end of the day. Yay, you're the hero. Good job, turkey. Ah, he came right back out. <laughs> What'd you say, he wants what? A treat. Seriously, that's why he was doing that? He knows exactly what this bucket is and where I keep it. No kid. so that's why he was jumping up there? Oh my gosh, what a riot. The posts here are eight feet tall. The bed itself is 12 inches high. So the plants are gonna start from the 12 inch mark, which means I've only got seven feet left after that. The tomatoes apparently grow up to about eight, almost nine feet, somewhere in there. But I think that's like a peak, like optimal height. I'm gonna go all the way to the top. That way, in case they do grow eight to nine feet and I lose out on those two feet, this full seven feet that we'll have will be good. That's the plan. In order to attach the cattle panel to these posts, I'm just gonna use some of these uh, like fencing staples. We'll hammer it in. Hopefully I won't get too much of a shake. I'm probably gonna have to have Courtney hold the posts though. I don't know if she's gonna be into that because you know, the most she's done so far is hold a post and get me a beer. Spend some time with me, Courtney. Spend some time with me. What's up, turkey? I'm gonna have to get on the ledge there and lift it up. So I can... All right, be careful of my tomato. Bread. I will be careful of the tomatoes. Get yourself some clamps. Apparently you can buy them for yourself for Father's Day. Yes, you can. All right, cattle panel number one is up. I'm gonna go get a shorter section, attach it to the bottom, and that should be plenty for these tomatoes. All right, I got the small piece in, we're gonna hammer it in, and then uh, this should all be good. I am gonna pull out some of those string trellis things, so that way 
they're here in case we need them but let's get this done and then we'll be done good enough it's probably good for me your aim is terrible yeah all right one tomato trellis in the books i'm done You hear that what am i like 15 my goodness well folks we have finished the trellis it seems like a lot of work for eight plants i'm not gonna lie eight tomato plants that hey hey don't squirt me with that hose what the hell's wrong with you a lot of work for eight plants this is crazy i may never do another project for her again i don't know but hey folks i really appreciate you hanging out with me today and uh it's knock it off! What the hell? You said you were never gonna do another project. I will do another project. I'm sorry. I take it back. My gosh. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you on the next one.